Symbols are a simple and direct way of communicating, and they are used all around us in everyday life. Whether they are on a sign at a foreign airport, or on a set of instructions on how to use a new appliance, symbols have an instant impact on how we read and understand information. In the 1980s, the idea of using symbols to support written information was developed, and the widget symbol set was born. Through consultation and projects with speech and language therapists, and education and disability specialists, designers created the widget symbols, the only symbol set designed specifically for written communication. Widget symbols are used worldwide, and the database is available in 17 languages. The language in this database is fully supported by symbols, and is suitable for all ages and abilities. As the only symbol set designed specifically for written communication, widget symbols provide support in an easy to understand format, whilst giving struggling and non-readers real independence in their reading and writing. Widget symbols are designed to communicate ideas quickly and simply. They illustrate words or phrases, giving the reader the ability to visualise the concept that the word or phrase represents. This approach works well with information and concepts that have various levels of difficulty. For example, to show the difference between current and voltage. Most widget symbols are designed to be obvious representations of the concepts, so little learning is needed. However, for the more abstract ideas, the widget symbols follow a schematic structure or rules for the way in which they are formed. These rules are quickly identifiable and easily learnable by users who are becoming familiar with the widget symbol set. A good example of these rules are the set of conventions outlining the symbols for buildings. A symbol that represents a building will feature a standard outline of a building which contains another symbol that gives information about the type of building that it is. The scale of the building is indicated by the shape of the roof. A flat roof represents a large building such as a hospital and a pointed roof represents a smaller building such as a clinic. The inclusion of other elements within a building symbol can change the nature of the symbol and the concept again. For example, adding a cash register to the book in a building symbol would indicate a bookshop rather than a library. Once these schematics have been learned, it is easier to recognise the concepts being depicted by the symbol and have a guess at its meaning. The ever-expanding widget symbol set now contains over 10,000 symbols. These symbols cover 40,000 words of vocabulary. The symbols cover a range of topics, including curriculum topics, everyday living and current events. Increasingly, government, education and public and private business are turning to widget symbols to meet their inclusion agenda. This agenda covers accessing information in schools, throughout communities and online, and is providing a true and genuine path to social inclusion for all.